Dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great in staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about a famous private deemed university. Yes, we are going to discuss about Christ University in this video, which is located in Karnataka, Bangalore. So without wasting much time, let's start. But before starting this video, just a small request folks, please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because you'll really enjoy. You know that fact. This video is going to be really informative. Let's start. Now let me just tell you what are the topics that we are going to discuss in the next 10 minutes. We are going to start with discussing about the highlights of Christ University. Then we will move on to the courses which Christ University offers. Then we will move on to the course-wise eligibility criteria. Then we will discuss about the selection process Christ University. Then we will discuss about the cutoff. What is the entrance exam and what is the cutoff? We are going to discuss that part too. What is the reservation policy in Christ University if any? What are the scholarship options and what is the placement scenario? Post that if you still have any doubts, any queries, any cures, ask in the comment section below. Let's start. So let's start with discussing about the highlights of Christ University. So Christ University was established in the year 1969. So it's a very old university. The campus size is 30 acres. Total number of campus of Christ University is five, which is in Bangalore. So that's why this is called Bangalore campus. Then one is in Bangnetta, that's called Bangnetta Road campus. Another is in Kengeri, that's called Kengeri campus. One in Delhi, that's Delhi NCR campus. And one in Pune Lavasa, it's a very nice place, Pune Lavasa. So one campus is in Pune, that is called Pune Lavasa campus, okay? The courses which this university offers are UGC recognized and because this is under MHRD, so all the rules and regulations of MHRD are followed in here. But again, there is some cures about the reservation criteria right not completely they are following the rules and regulations of mhrd uh, this has came into picture in 2018 and 19 year uh, you can visit and just have more information about this mhrd policy on this college if i talk about the college ranking this is ranked second by indian today 2019 and ranked eight by the week 2019 the number of courses which this university offers is of course are of a very large number 179 total number of courses this university offers in 10 different streams this is a NAC accelerated college. Official website is www.christuniversity.in. And the, of course, it's a COVID college. The mode of application is online and offline. So this is just a brief about uh, major highlights of Christ University. Now let's discuss about the courses which this university offers. As I just told, there are a total of 179 courses this university offers, right? So we're not going to discuss about all those 179 courses at this point of time. Yes, but we'll discuss about the major departments through which these courses are being offered. And then from you just name that course and you will find in this university. Yes. So there are essentially School of Engineering and Technology. This is one course. This is one department which offers courses. Then School of Law. Then School of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy. School of Arts and Humanities. School of Sciences. School of Architecture. School of Education. School of Business and Management. And School of Social Science. So these are the major departments through which courses are being offered through this university. Now let's discuss about what are the courses. I'm just taking a few courses. You can visit the site www.christuniversity.in slash admission course detail slash 1% 20 of 1% 20 science 20% ADM UD DET search. Now, let's move on and discuss about few more courses which is offered by Bangalore Central Campus, Delhi NCR Campus and Pune Lavasa Campus. So these are essentially the new courses that this university has launched through this department, through these campuses. Let's talk about Bangalore Central Campus. So this is BBA, MSc, MSc, then MSc in Psychology, MSc in Forensic Science, Postgraduate Diploma in Research Methodology, that is PGDR. Yeah, this is a new course, PGDR. If I talk about in Delhi NCR campus, this is BSc, then MSc, MSc in Economics and Analytics, Master of Law, Master of Law in Corporates and Commercial Law. Okay. If I talk about in Pune, that is in Lavasa campus, this is MSc Economics and Analytics, LLM, LLM in Intellectual Property and Trade Law and Corporate and Commercial Law. So this is a new courses that this university has launched. Now let's move on and discuss about the other course in Kengri campus. So this is BBA, MR, BTEC, BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering, Data Science, BTEC in Computer Science and Engineering, and BTEC in Robotics and Mechatronics, and there are other two. You can visit the site, you'll have more information. Now let's discuss about the course-wise eligibility criteria. As you just know the fact that once you just visit the site, you will have eligibility criteria right at the left, right to the type of that course. 
So I'm just taking few courses, but as a major eligibility criteria for UG and PG is such that in the UG, if I talk about for the NRIs, this is IB curriculum must have 3HL or 3SL with 24 credits. And for the boards like Edexcel or GCA, they must have minimum of 3 A's level, but not a grade less than C. So these are the conditions that need to be met. If I talk about in PG program eligibility, then this is just like the qualifying degree should be from any recognized university, uh, which is UGC or AIU. So just a brief about major eligibility criteria in the PG and the UG courses. Rather, it would be great if you visit the site, right, and then choose the course and check on those eligibility criteria because there are a total of 179 courses that the university offers. So it's not feasible to present all the courses in this particular video. Now, before I move forward and announce the other part of Christ University, let me announce a very important part here. This is for the NRI students. So for the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI ebook that is related to DASANCIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled set of NRI ebooks. All right. Now, let's move on and discuss about the selection process. So the selection process is a key aspect here, right? Now, most of the courses are just based on your, the intake is just based on your marks of class 12th, graduation, masters, but in many courses, there are entrance exams. So if I just brief you, it says that admission in majority of the courses offered at Christ University is through CUET. Now, what is CUET? CUET is the name suggests Christ University entrance test and aspirants needs to meet the Christ University cutoff that is declared every year. You can visit the site, you'll have much information. And once you just qualify that cutoff thing, then you will be shortlisted for the course in which you are seeking admission. For all the courses in which admission doesn't conduct it through this entrance exam, because there are some courses in which this entrance exam is not applicable. So candidates are shortlisted based on their merit or from the score of your class 12th graduation or post-graduation and post that there are uh, skill assessment or interview rounds. They are just the key aspects or just like a filtering aspects that they take to finally intake the students. Aspirants seeking admission in MBA courses, if I talk particularly about the MBA courses, for the MBA, there is a proper entrance exam. I mean, this is the general entrance exam that most of the colleges accept, like they accept score of MAT, CMAT, GMAT, CAT, ZAT. For the NRIs or for the you know foreign nationals, they have certain GRE, ATMA, CUET. So this is about the entrance exam. Rather, it will be great if you visit the site because a total of 179 courses. Each course has its own selection process, right? So just to make the thing shorter, I'm just telling you there are four major aspects in here through which they intake, through which they take students. There are essentially selection process for UG through entrance tests. So there are a few courses that they have listed in there. You can visit. You check that what are those courses then there is selection process for pg courses with skill assessment so there is only skill assessment and through that only you will be shortlisted for the further process then there is selection process for undergraduate programs with only pi just personal interview and that's it and there are some courses some ug courses in which there are audition so you just need to perform just like a course from dance or a course from painting so you have to give an audition right once you qualify through that then only you will be shortlisted for the further round Visit the site www.christuniversity.in slash selection process one. You will find the same information, but in there you will have detailed information about each of these courses. All right. Now let's discuss about the cutoff. So cutoff is not too high and not too low, just like a normal cutoff. You cannot compare this cutoff with the NITs or IITs, of course, it's a private college. Uh, talking about just CAT, so typically if you're scoring somewhere, you, if your overall percentile, if your overall percentile is 60 percentile and your sectional is 40 percentile or above, you are eligible to apply in this Christ University. If I talk about for CODMEC, UGET, so the cutoff ranking for the year 2019 was 26,565. For the year 2020, in the round one, it was 78.34. In the round two, in the same year, last year, which is 2022, 2020, sorry, 2020, it was 1100, 11,219. So this is the cutoff. Essentially, it depends upon various factors, the number of applicants, the difficulty level, and through that, they call students or just declare their own cutoffs. All right. Now let's discuss about the reservation. So Christ University says that admission to all the programs is based on academic achievement. Now this is the best thing in here, right? It has a motto. It gives equal opportunity to all the students. There is no reservation as such. 
So in CRIS, which is deemed to university, selection process is solely based on merit basis, right? Candidates should submit the final result of class 12th on or before July 15 of the admission year. So for this year, you just need to submit your class 12th scorecard on or before July 15. Maybe this is going to be extend because of the situation. Visit also one more site, which is ChristUniversity.in slash NRI students text ARE. Percentage 20 NRI, 20 percentage 20 percentage who, 15 percentage of 20 percent of 20 ADM admission year, 20 year. So visit the site, just click on this link here and you will be open to the reservation page, the reservation blog. Now let's discuss about the scholarship. Scholarship options are ample in this university. Christ University houses of the Office of the Financial Aids and Scholarships that offers various awards and scholarships to the various meritorious students like award for excellence, award for proficiencies, award for co-curricular activities, merit scholarships, scholarships for financial assistance, right? So there is also one fund, Christ University, also a fund. This says that Christ University allocates a total amount of about rupees 450 lakhs for the fee concession and scholarship annually. Every year they have a fund of 450 lakhs and they dis reimburse, this, uh, disburse this amount to the students in the form of reimbursement, in the form of financial aid, that's a good thing in here. Now let's discuss about the placement. So I just, just told placement is determined by the median pay package. So if I just talk about, let's talk about MBA first. So if I talk about MBA in the year 2019, it was somewhere around 5.5 lakhs per annum in the year 2019. Median pay package I'm talking about. If I talk about in the year 2018, which is just previous to 2019, it was more than 5 lakhs. So you can see a little increment, 5.1, 5.2 5 to 5.5. This is about the pay package, the median pay package in the management courses, which is MBA. If I talk about in BTEC or BE, so what is the return on investment? So in the year 2017, it was around 3 lakh per annum. This is the median LPA. Uh, in the year 2019, it was around 2.75, somewhere around 2.75 lakhs per annum. In the year 2019, it was 3 lakh per annum. In the year 2020, it was somewhere around 3.5, 3 to 3.5. That was the median pay package. Right, so now this is three lakhs per annum. This is only because of the reason why this is quite low and why this is very accurate because of many other factors, right? The intake is too high, they offers n number of courses. So this is the clubbing of all those courses which are offered by various departments, right? Will be great if you visit the site, will visit the site and then check the placement scenario of those courses in which you are interested in, okay? Now let's discuss about the top recruiters of Christ University Bangalore. So these are Deloitte, ENY, KPMG, Goldman Sachs, DE Shaw, ZS Associates, Verity, AON. There are much more. So these are the top recruiters. And this is just about the placements. Now, if you have any doubts, any questions, any queries about Christ University, ask in the comment section below. Feel free to reach out to us. And best wishes. See you in the coming videos. Thank you.